when you go on a session, let's let's say it's it's a uh, Billy Ocean, right? So you you did a lot of his hits. Yes, I did uh, most all of his uh, ballad hits because the the up tempos were drum machines. This was in the '80s, mind oh, you. Oh, really? Right. So they wanted a live kit sound um, now, for those ballads. Now, when they hired you, did they hire you because they go, "Okay, this is a ballad." Okay, the ballad guy in the business is Terry. <laughs> so no, I'm serious. It's, you know, the, no. you go, the ballad guy. The ballad guy is Terry Silverlight, or do they go, "Who's like one of the top five players?" Okay, Terry Silverlight. Okay, Terry. I want you to make it feel like this because that feel like this has been like the last few ballad hits. The latter, for sure. So they That's will will they mention like can you give me a groove like this song or that song? Well, it happens different ways in each production. I'm just trying to remember the way it happened on those dates. Um I think on some of the songs they actually played a, a demo reference that they might have had a drum machine, a drum machine or something, which made it easy because it's like, well, that's I know the direction that they want to go into, but I have a memory of some of the songs where there was nothing like that. We just I just sat down at the drums. They said, "Here's the music. Um, here's about the tempo. Let's let's just play it and see what happens." And then from there, it's worked out. Okay. So I'm going to put you in the drummer's seat right now. Okay. So I'm going to help you get out of your oh, chair. Right. Easy. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to, what I'm really interested in. Yeah. Is. So you're going in the studio to do a single. Okay. And it's going to be a dance single. Right. How do you come up with a beat that you think is going to sell a million copies? Well, I think the first thing is. To just play the simplest thing I can possibly think of to play, which would be, I mean, there are different dance grooves, but you know, if it's kind of a funky thing, well, give I mean, us example. I would just. I might not even do that. It would be just. But it all depends on what the bass player is doing. If the bass player is playing, dun, 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 I might play. Or if he's playing, dun, 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 that would be a definite clue to lock in with that. And from there, it's a matter of, all right, well now, how fancy do I get with those little hi hat things or not? And it, it would be either my decision or the producer's decision or a combination th thereof. If the producer's hands-on, he might say, I love what you're doing. Could you just cool it a little bit with the, the fancy hi-hat stuff and just keep it straight? Or he might say, no, I really like that. That adds a lot to it. Or he might say, I really like that. It's adding a lot. Just do it sometimes. So it could be the difference between or Busier. So it really all depends on a lot of it, it's just verbal, spo verbally spoken.